Hello everyone, welcome back to our coding letters for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about email library. Let us see how we can send an email from our local server. This is one of the mostly used library in our application development. In some situations, we have to send an email to a person uh, if he created an account or if he purchased any product we have to send an invoice to his email id or if any contact form submitted so the contact uh, message information and we have to send to the admin this type of situations where we can use this email library very regularly in our application development in if you want to send an email from our local machine we need to configure smtp so without this SMTP, we can send an email ID. So for especially from our local server, right? So to configure SMTP, we have email class, which is available in our config location. And you can, we have to open the file and we have to configure SMTP server. Once the configuration is completed, then we have to load that email service into our controller class and we can instantiate the email service and we can use the following method, set from set to set subject, set message and send method. But if you want to send an email, we have to configure SMTP. Let us see how we can configure SMTP. So you can go to your editor, open the email file. So this is available in config location. From config location, it is going to be available in your email class, app config email. Let us open the file. This is your configuration. This is a email class which contain all the properties. So each and every property with some value here from email, from name, recipients, such a manner. Those three are not required. So coordinator, this is user identity could be coordinator. And this mail ID, I'm going to use SMTP because I'm going to work with SMTP. Okay, mail path is same. You don't need to change the path here, nothing required. SMTP host, which is very important. The SMTP host is going to be smtp.gmail.com. Remember, I'm configuring gmail smtp here that's why i'm giving you smtp gmail.com so now this is going to be smtp user smtp user is nothing but a valid working email id of your gmail so i'm going to provide my working mail id so this is my working mail id i'm going to provide here and the same smtp password remember this password is the password of this email id what is the gmail password of this exactly i'm how to give here let us go and let us give this. I'm going to give you a password like this, right? This is the password of my account. And SMTP port number of our Gmail, it is going to be 465. So this is the SMTP password, sorry, SMTP port number 465, exactly. SMTP timeout, at least 30, but I'm going to give you 60 here, no problem, even if we can give, but if, you, if it is very faster, five is 10 is enough, I believe. And this is going to be SSL and keep alive is not required. I'm going to make it as SSL. So SSL you can give and sorry, SSL. And this is sorry, SSL. Yeah, so word wrap. Okay, fine. And if you want to know and about these properties, go to the manual. In the manual, they explain it very clearly each and every property, but not required. Just you can see the man, see my video and just do the same. So this is an HTML email. It is very important. This is an HTML email, care set is UTF-8 and may validate. So whether to validate email address, if you can set it true, it will be validated. So priority slash or slash n. So multiple mail headers are going to be separated with slash or slash n. This is already we seen in core PHP. If you want to send multiple headers, we have to use slash or slash n. Batch mode is, BCC batch mode is false. So if it is false, so here one more thing, number of emails in each BCC, can you see 200, but it is false. So it is no need to, even though if you can set 200, it is no, no use of it, but batch mode should be true. Then we can enable this to, uh, then we can add 200 in 200 email address in batch mode. Yes, this is the file and save the file. And very important thing here, what we did here majorly, one is SSL and one more is SMTP timeout. SMTP port number and your email ID and your password. These are very important things. And the timeout also make it somewhat. And especially if we can go to the bottom, we have something called SSL, SMTP crypto, something like this. So these are the enough settings guys. We don't want to go for majorly four settings are required in this file. So one is SMTP host, SMTP username, SMTP password, as well as SMTP port number. These four is enough majorly. And one more thing, SSL, right? So let us go 
to action so i am going to your test mail i have a small class created controller class and let me run the file first let us go and run the file yeah so local host this is going to be ca4 slash test mail is my class and it is going to call the index method automatically here yeah, working with email so we didn't write anything inside of it let me go and let me load the email inside of it so how can we load the email inside of it so first of all let us prepare the mail uh, later that we can uh, include that email library nothing but we have to instantiate that email library to work with the email functionality right yeah so first what i'm going to do here dollar two address let me prepare the let us give you go php trainings at the rate gmail.com is my mail id to address i'm giving you this information statically right now subject is equal to account activation account activation or something like go php i'm going to give you like this and i need to have a message this is the message is going to be like this uh one minute i already prepared the message body uh, let us copy this message body here right this is the message body with me right now so and this is a html content hi rom break and thanks your account created successfully please click the below link to activate your account here is something so a link if you want you can provide the link also here base url i mean once the user clicks that link in your inbox he has to come to our website only right base url slash your test mail controller slash so same the controller this is uh, i am going to give you something called verify here if required you can give it otherwise you can leave it no problem verify but right now i'm not doing any database operation well. just i'm going to give you the link once a user click he has to come to the same page here this is going to be target equal to blank so when you are clicking the link in the email it has to open in a new window that's why i am taking this as a underscore blank this is going to be blank that's it right so your message is ready guys now we have to use them right i mean we have to send this information to your mail so we have to create mail dollar email equal to i am going to go for config in the con sorry not this is config namespace c o n f i g config namespace we have a method called services i mean services is a predefined class so in this we have something called email this is the way of loading email nothing but this is called email instance email instance is created once email instance is created yes we can simply dollar email of two address so we can send the information this is going to be email of set to sorry so this is the methods we have set to is going to be two address and set subject dollar email of set subject is subject and as well as set message and dollar email of set message this is how we can take them set message of message and finally we can use email of send that's it it is going to work automatically but this send method is going to return as true if mail sent successfully right so for this let us write one condition if this mail sent successfully we have to display a message account created successfully i am going to display a message account created successfully and please activate your account this is the message i am going to display guys please activate your account please activate your account done so if unable to send we have to display a message so what is the reason we have to know right so the re the message is going to be nothing but so we have a function predefined function that is nothing but print debugger by using this print debugger we can tell our email of we have a function called print debugger is a function to this we have to pass headers by using this we can get the error if you have any error while sending an email that is going to be collected here guys right so let us keep the variable and i am going to print this data or data or error you can take any variable there no problem that is your choice completely right so this is what how we can send an email guys right if you want you can add cc bcc if you want you can add attachment also specially let us go for attachment dollar file path let us take a variable dollar file path equal to 
file PADH file path equal to for example if you want to attach any image later we we have to sometimes when you are working with the e-commerce application we have to attach invoices also here I have images folder in this I have one dot jpg let me image let me attach this image this was available in public folder public public slash and it is going to be in assets slash images slash and one dot png is my path right that's it so and this we have to attach right dollar email of attach is a method we have just you can pass the file path that's enough right and this is enough if you want you can add cc bcc also but right now they are not required if you want you can add them dollar email of you can add anywhere no problem not only top so you can add uh, set bcc this is one bcc and what is the bcc mail id you have to provide here if you have anything you can provide it otherwise you can leave it no problem some bcc at mail.com so this is one uh, if you want you can add some cc also we have one more method called cc carbon copy and some cc at mail.com and especially we have to add dollar from also dollar email of set from is a method and the from address let me give you something called info at the rate go php dot in this is i'm going to give you here and this is going to be something called info right this is how exactly that information we have to define but anyhow cc and bcc are not valid email ids let me keep it in comment just i'm showing you if you want you can use them otherwise you can leave it no problem but this is the basic information we read right to send an email that's it guys so your task is completed and email configuration is defined here with your username password and all and one more thing is going to be email defined so uh, all the settings we are having in email.php so after that we load the email instance into our this is email library and email instance is created by doing this after creating the email instance we can access the library methods without creating an instance we cannot access any of the library methods this is very important done now one more very important thing now we configured gmail smtp so now we need to log into your gmail we have to enable less secure apps this is very important go to your gmail i am going to uh, click on your account so manage your google account this is the account you have to click on here and you're in the left side you have security click on the security and very important thing what about the email you configured in the smtp so that email should not have two-step verification if you have turn off the two-step verification and one more thing at the bottom of the page we can find less secure apps you have to enable it anyhow i by i enable this option so if you have turn off and turn on will be there here so the two important things first you have to go to gmail and where you have to stop the two-step verification after that we have to enable less secure let's take your apps done guys so if it is perfect then we can able to work with email so let us go and let us write the function let me refresh it if email sent so we have to get the message account created successfully this is what i have displayed if anything wrong so definitely we are going to get this error guys if anything wrong definitely let us go and let us execute this i'm executing wait for a minute it is loading yeah so i have got a message account created successfully please activate your account now we sent an email with an attachment we have to check to the what is the two address i given here so can you see the two address i have mentioned here in my mail id this is go php training oh it is not training i think so it is training's email i think i have to provide okay let me execute one more time so i'm going to execute one more time here let us execute it go php trainings that is my mail id actually okay again anyhow i got success message uh, let us open my mail id here so go php trainings i'm opening this and we need to check whether we received the mail or not so go to gmail so here we have to check whether we received an email or not from coding Creator. can you see i have something called info and click on it and can you see account activation go php the subject can you see the image is also attached and you are having a high rom thanks your account credit successfully and if you can click this a new window will open in this new window it is going to be loaded guys test mail verify so in the test mail class we don't have verify method that's why we are getting this error if you want uh, you can write one more function test mail verify now i am going to write this public function v e r i f y verify just simply i am writing i am not doing anything 
account verified i am going to simply write a message account v e r i f i e d don't worry later we will show you this very clearly so i mean when i am discussing registration form i will discuss the registration form with uh, account activation link so when you create an account i will send an account activation link to your email id you have to click activate button then if you can click activate button i have to update your status in the database let us see how we can do this in our registration form now i am going to click this one more time now if you can click this can you see account verified so it is coming to this page but earlier the function was not found that's why we have the error this is the error we have so now the function is available and we are going to get the message including attachment also if you don't want attachment remove the attachment that no worries right so yes guys this is how we can send an email from our local server and very important thing so in gmail smtp so i mean when you are configuring smtp this should be same and this is a valid working mail id and the password related to that particular email id otherwise it won't work seriously okay right guys so thank you if you have any doubts please comment under the video section and don't forget please subscribe our gopi hp channel thank you all